Greetings and salutations, YouTube family and friends. t Rav Vlogs here. What's up, guys? Today, our adventure takes us to... The St. Louis Science Center. Located in historic Forest Park here in St. Louis. It's one of the premier science centers around. We've got the walkway over to the planetarium over there in Forest Park as well. We're going to go in here today, check out what's going on, and also catch a screening of Rogue One, a Star Wars story, in the Omnimax Theater. It's an IMAX theater inside, and boy, is it an experience. So uh, we're going to go inside and show you guys what they've got going on in here. Check it out. Giant ball track lines the ceiling as you start to walk in there. I could watch something like this all day long. down here in the lower level of the Science Center. You can also take part in a dig. You dig for your own fossils and see what it's like to be a paleontologist. Could I feel a dinosaur shoes? I'm gonna say no. She got all them bones. As a band geek, I don't know what that is, but I want it. I want it in my room right now. One of my favorite exhibits here was always the demonstration of how air in a tornado moves. You can disrupt the airflow and then it rebuilds itself from the ground up. If you look carefully, you can see the Wicked Witch flying around in there. I'm kidding, there's no Wicked Witch. Here we have a little reptile and amphibian exhibit. Almost reminiscent of the St. Louis Zoo, wouldn't you say? None of the wildlife in here are real. Though. It's all about the Mississippian period in here. I was trying to give the stand words. Get the sharks again. None of these are actually real. As you change the shape of the land, I'm not gonna put it the topography changes with you. <laughs> you dig deep enough, Babe, it's like water. find water begins to form. You build high enough, and mountains begin to form. And as everything changes, the map changes as well. That is wild. Interactive seismograph. Step onto the plate, begin making some rumblings, find the green one. Look at this. Go over here to the red one. That is a Fred Astaire on the Richter scale, actually. This is a real roller coaster tycoon. Brandy's building the roller coaster. Let's see if Brandy's designed for roller coaster works. Oh, fail. Gonna have to change some stuff around. Let's try her again. Almost. One more go. Here we go. Not quite. Let's see if we can get our windmill to spin here. Ah, looks like the blades are fixed perfectly. You can adjust them and get the maximum amount of energy. Hmm. 
I think we did a pretty good job. So we have one of these big bad boys right outside of our house, not too far away. This is what's inside one of those guys. I am now on the kilowatt hour bike. We're going to see how, uh, how fast I can get this sucker to go. Oh my god, the tension here is ridiculous. Here we go. Oh, sorry for the shaky camera. So I get to 1.21 gigawatts, Marty. Not too bad. One point, or 140 watts to spike it out. I'm not the exact of the best, but I'm trying. All right, Brandy's going to give it a go. I was able to spike it up to at least 160. Let's see how far she can go. She's going, she's going, she's going to town. What's her record? Are they going to show it? Oh my god, she's blowing me out of the water. 170. Oh, oh she, she dropped a little bit. Go back. Oh, 170. She powered a boombox. That's awesome. And it's Bob's turn. Holy crap. Darn you and your long legs. We're up to 210, 211. How long go? Oh, he's dropping rapidly. <laughs> he's dropping rapidly. Oh, he's back up again. He's back up 200. Oh, he's like he spiked at 210. Oh. What used to be the area where all the computers were have changed into a little bit of something different. This is a maker area, and you can design specific vehicles, try out different forces, and even make a little ball run with a connection of tubes and pipes. Pretty interesting. Let's try out the ball wall here. <laughs> there it goes! Oops, sorry. Made it all the way down. Let's try mine out over here. Go! Yay! We victory! It's just like that new game, The Wall. It's like Plinko, but with tubes. So yes, we're going to be experiencing Rogue One at the Omnimax today. If you've ever been curious about what an IMAX theater looks like or operates, that's the film reel to it. And the projector goes all the way up in there. It's quite a spectacle to see. And if you've never seen a movie in IMAX before, I recommend it. It's pretty wild. If you ever wanted to try your experience at building your own arch, over there is our own St. Louis arch, what it should look like. They're not doing too bad of a job. And of course we have the Skyway over Highway 40 here in St. Louis. Don't believe it goes directly over the highway. This little manhole is proof. If you look, you can see cars going by. There he goes. We have stepped over the bridge now, and we are headed towards the Mars base on the planetarium side of things, on the other side of the highway. And in here we have these little pods that have collectibles and memorabilia of sci-fi nature, and other things from different time periods. Some things a little more recent than others. But some of them are pretty neat. And the pods go all the way down. Experience flight? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Here I am flying a Cessna 172. There's a view of the cockpit. And there's my plane. Let's go down a little bit so you can kind of see what the plane looks like. There I am. For those of you who haven't been to the planetarium in a long time, like myself, this is what it looks like in here now. Way different from what it used to look like, but now they have the Mission Mars base in here. They have a programmable rover from back in the Science Center at Mission Control, and you can program the rover over here to move around to the programs that you write for it. It's kind of a nifty idea. 
But I do miss the way things used to be, especially in this neck of the woods. If you're interested in what the inside of a space capsule looked like, this is the Gemini, which was in effect from 1961 to 1966. In here, you can see the arrangements that the astronauts had on their entry back to Earth. Believe it or not, two astronauts are supposed to be able to fit in here. This is the chamber for one of them. The other one is on the other side. And they sat in the capsule like this. I'm not claustrophobic, but that's a little tight for even me. Got some chickens hanging out over here outside in the grow exhibit. There's a lot of them out there today. Something very new to me is the grow exhibit out here. This is where the old Explorer Dome used to be, and they've kind of got a little display with demonstrations, tractor rides, all kinds of nifty little things out here. You know, little herbs and stuff growing here so you can learn about agriculture. Pretty neat. Here we are inside the grow exhibit. We have a little mock-up here of Missouri, and over here across the river, if you will, is Illinois. And we've got little markers set up here. Tell you a little bit about farms and agriculture and animals. It's pretty nifty. Well guys, that's going to do it for our trip to the St. Louis Science Center. We just got out of Rogue One at the Omnimax, and what an experience it was. I had never seen Rogue One before, so as a film I thought it was great. Uh, Bob and Brandy had never really seen a film in IMAX before, so it was their first experience at that. So, a lot of firsts today for a lot of people, and uh, as you can probably see behind me, the place is pretty much closed down. They usually stop operations here about 4.30 in the afternoon, but they still have the Omnimax playing movies, so they leave the main lobby open for people to come out and exit the building whenever they get done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't come to the Science Center yet, I highly recommend the trip. It's a lot of fun. A lot of things have changed since I've been here, and that was quite some time ago. Definitely check it out. Uh, so that's really all i got to say about that. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon, and take care. Bye-bye. Brandy had 44 ounces of icy during the movie. She is completely hopped up on sugar right now. The, the focus is a little out of it here. Let's see if we can't get it up here. Yeah, she's she's in pain laughing so hard right now. So this is definitely going on the outtake reel. Uh, she's going to need a little bit to recover from that. Thanks a lot, Science Center.